Hey everybody, from Jeff's Little Engine Service. So I had this dude bring in a couple rototillers, and you can see this one's a real beauty. So when I have a customer bring in uh, a piece of equipment that looks like this and has been treated like this, uh, I always remind them that uh, a repair is different than a restoration and in some cases you're dealing with a restoration because it's not just one or two things you're fixing it's like 12 things that you have to fix and every time you have to fix something sometimes you have to spend money buying parts too so it all adds up but uh, this guy also brought me this tiller and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get these things going for him. Why not? He says this one runs, starts and dies, so that's encouraging. He says this one doesn't do anything, and that's not encouraging. Pretty sketchy, boys. Pretty sketchy. Let's go ahead and get this off of here. I sure hope this isn't going to be a pain in the butt. So here's the special tool, and I'll show you how it works. I think it was about $12. So my quarter inch socket here. Actually, let's see what we have here. We're going to have to take off this old socket. Try this. That works. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Yeah, that thing is ruined. This is a quarter inch socket. Gotta take the screen off. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna put this bad boy to use. Put that in there like that. Reverse. All right, let's see what happens. You can see this just fits over this thing. Right like that. Here we go. That's how it's done, son. Thing's still coming off. Bearings flying everywhere. Yeah, it's trying to get off there. That thing is welded on. Damn. Okay, so how to get this thing off of here? I'm not going to need all those little pieces anymore that fell out. Just need to get this iron thing off of here. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, so I'm going to try a big old pair of pliers this time. Let's see if that'll work. I think it's loosening up. I was getting somewhere. Just got to work at it. Goodness. This way might work. Yeah, there we go. Oh, goodness. Hey! Oh, wow, the dude drilled right through the shaft. Look at that. Can you believe someone would do that? So you may have noticed that the flywheel got loose on here. That's all right. Just make sure you don't lose the key that's in there. And when you put it back on, you put it on correctly. Just like so. And here's the new one. That's the part number, I believe it's from Stens, which you can get at a variety of places. I think one thing I'm going to have to do is make sure and sand around the shaft where he drilled the hole. Or we can see if it'll slide on. Yeah, see it won't slide on past where he where he drilled. So let's go ahead and sand that. So here's what this piece looks like on the inside, just so you know. And you can see the little balls go in there. It's actually missing a couple because I've had this apart already, but there's supposed to be a ball in every little compartment. So I couldn't get this to go on, um, and it was because where he had drilled through the shaft, it had kind of uh, messed up the outer surface. <clears throat> so I had to take a file here and file, 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 and turn it until I could get this piece to go on and spin freely. This was getting bound up. 
but before I put it on here I'm going to go ahead and put some lubricant uh, some grease on there you can see the shaft is all uh, filed up now but at least I can fit that piece over it and it doesn't get bound up so that should be fine so now I have to figure out uh, what our torque specification is on this how tight we're supposed to make it just like that well, I'm going to take this cover off so I can get to the other side of the engine and hold it I've already loosened up these nuts looks like it's just two of them yeah, see now you can get to the pulley and grab onto it with something. I'm going to use some vice grips. I'm just going to use my vice grips here to get a good grip on this pulley so we can hold it in place while we tighten up that starter clutch. Oh! Okay, and now we get back over here and we have to put 65 foot-pounds of torque on this. kind of awkward could use an assistant just like that get this cover back on here all right so here's the cover everything looks good in there so I moved, removed the two side screws. There's one on each side here, so I can put the screen back on. Almost forgot. And then you just kind of choose a hole here. I think I'll choose that one. Tighten these down cover back on and we're good to go feels good works just like it's supposed to that's how it's done son